Hello, welcome to the third tutorial in this series. In this series, I'm going to go through the uh, uh, groups edit mode. But first, I'm um, just going to explain how to navigate the uh, the map, uh, how to move units, etc. Uh, the first thing, um, if you hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse, you will navigate the map. If you scroll up, you will zoom out, and if you scroll down uh, on the mouse wheel you will zoom in. Also, um, when you zoom in, like uh, if you place the uh, cursor up here, then you will zoom in to wherever your cursor is. So if you zoom in now, you'll zoom in up here. And also, when you zoom out, you will zoom away from the cursor. Okay, um, so to move units and select units, simply click one and you will have selected it. And you can move it around by simply dragging it around with the left mouse button. So just click and drag. Uh, to select multiple units, you can drag a rectangle by holding down the left mouse button on the map and then dragging and then releasing. And then you can move all the units you've selected. Um, to rotate a unit, simply hold down shift and then hold down the left mouse button and drag around and you can rotate this uh, effectively sets the azimuth in the uh, in the unit style like right here and of course if you select multiple units and hold down shift you will rotate them as a single object um, and all the uh, the standard uh, shortcuts like uh, copy, control C, and uh, paste, uh, control V, works. And you will paste them wherever your cursor is. Uh, if you want to delete a unit, you hover the mouse on the unit and press delete. Uh, of course, if you've got, uh, let me just, uh, if you've got multiple units, you can hold down the delete button and just uh, move the mouse over the units while holding delete. Um, or if you've got, let's say you've got a lot of units, I'm just holding down control V to paste a lot. Um, instead of just having to press delete on every single one, you can hold shift delete and it'll delete all the selected units. Shift delete and shift delete. Okay, I believe that was it. Um, let's go on to the group edit mode. So click the groups uh, over here or simply press F2. And then double click anywhere on the map. And this will bring up the insert group dialog of which you can select a side. I'm um, just going to select blue four and a faction, uh, the US Army. And type, I'm just going to leave it on infantry. And then uh, a uh, an anti tank team. And then, of course, you can set the azimuth. Just click OK to this, and this will add a predefined group of four people. Um, and again, if you want to move them, you just select them and move them. Oops. Make sure you're in the units mode before you try to move. Oh, a small tip. If you've been in a, like uh, groups or synchronized or whatever, and you start to track them, you will start to um, group them instead. Um, and if you release now, you will you will ungroup uh, these units. So, if you've done this by mistake, uh, you can rectify it by simply switching to F1 uh, to, to your units by pressing F1, and you will start moving instead. Okay, so we've moved it, and of course you can hold down Shift again, and you can rotate the group. Okay, so that's one of the things you use the, the groups edit mode for. Um, I'm just going to ungroup these units by simply um, holding down the left mouse button on each unit and dragging to uh, to nowhere on each, for each unit. Okay, so now we've got four people who are not grouped. And then to group them, we, um, we drag from the unit that we want to group to the leader, so for each from each unit to uh, 
another leader. Um, and as you can see, um, the lines point to whoever is leader. And if we uh, just deselect them by clicking somewhere else and then double clicking the team leader, if we change uh, his rank to private, and click OK, you can see that now Lishin has become the leader because he has the right, highest rank. Um, and I believe if they've all got the same rank, let's just change them all to a private, then the leader is the one that you drag the lines to. So if they've all got the same rank, you can uh, still choose which one is the leader. So now this one is the leader. Um, and now this one is the leader. Just move them back a bit. Um, okay, so that's pretty much uh, the group's edit mode. Um, there will be some more stuff when we get to uh, triggers and waypoints, um, but I'll come back to that in, in the next parts. Um, so see you later.